this Ray record, I knew my job to honor Ray would be much more as a singer. You know, the Ray Price records never had hardly any guitar f featuring. Mm -hmm. It was always twin fiddles and steel guitar was, was predominant on all those records. So this was a record for me to really focus on the singing and and not not emulate Ray in, in the way that he sang, but but just to honor it, you know, and, and the way that these songs are phrased, you know, is way different than than the way I would have phrased a Buck Owens song that I sang or a Merle Haggard. There's elements of what they did that I would use, but not to the point of where it was a, a sound alike. Mm -hmm. Years ago, I was making a record, my first, I think it was my first record, solo record. And my sweet friend, Emery Gordy, we were in there and it was a real traditional song. And I'm in there singing my heart out as best I can, you know, and finally he hits the, it's a real country song, you know, and he hits the talk back and he goes, hey, just a little bit of advice. He said, we already have a George Jones and you're not him. And it was powerful because he said to me, you have to sing like you sing. You have to find your own way of communicating, your own way of a style, all those things. And it was it was a great light that went on for me. And the same thing holds true. You can you can emulate and you can honor and you can do those things. But if you do them in a way that's that's not exactly like them, but it's your own, it makes it fun and it's a great it's a great learning exercise for me. You know, you you often think, what is it that made Ray Price such a great singer? And it's very simple. It's the way that he phrased. Mm -hmm. You say the same thing about Ray Charles. There's a great soulful singer, but nobody phrased like Ray Charles. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, when he'd make country records, was one of the greatest phrasers mm -hmm. of all time. Willie has gone on. Everybody goes, oh, it's so odd. It's so, you know, he back phrases. Now he front phrases more than he back phrases. And it's because he can have that call and response with himself. He can sing and then play, mm -hmm. sing and then play. You know, and it makes so much sense when you look at it logically. And so we we took off on this this record and we thought about doing half and half like we did with Bakersfield, mm -hmm. but we wound up liking so many songs. I said, hell, let's just do all race songs on yeah. this one. And it made a lot of sense and, and uh, took a long time to finish because of COVID and all that mess, but pretty grateful that it's finally out there. See yeah. what people think.